Well, this is a nice surprise. We were upgraded because, well, your boy's a diamond member with Hilton. And so instead of just getting the regular room at the Conrad, we got the one bedroom suite. And you have to see this place. Come on in, check it out. Before I take you into the living room, come on here because when you walk in, you have your powder, powder bathroom right there. You have a sink, toilet, everything that a powder needs. So you're good to go when you come in, in case you've been out for quite a long time and you need to hit it real quick, boom, powder bathroom is there for you. Come on in. This place is huge. I don't know what the square footage is. I have to look it up and maybe put it down on the screen, but it is gigantic. You have a seat here, huge couch over here, like a mini chaise over here, a little day bed action happening. Table right here where you can lay out your food, lay out some cards, play some Uno, play some spades, play some dominoes, whatever you're gonna do, you can do it right here. Then you have a table for two where you can dine under the Vegas stars if it's at night or you know in the morning when you wake up. And this is great also if you are working. If you're coming to Vegas and you got some work to do, you can lay out your laptop, paperwork, whatever you need to do, and put it right there and have a good view of what's going on in Vegas. The stratosphere is just right there. Circus Circus right down below. That's where Resorts World is on the Vegas Strip. This is so much room. Then you have this gigantic television. You can do a lot with this. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty positive in reading the literature. They have a cast system where you can throw up stuff from your phone or from your tablet on the screen. So if you like YouTubing or if you like to watch movies from Netflix or whatever, you can put it on there and see it. Here's another thing I love. You've got lots of outlet space, including one of these with the USB-A's, two plugs right there. Got your thermostat where you can get plenty of cooling on the hot summer days and warmth on the cool Vegas winter nights. This is gigantic. Plenty of room for you to spread out, plenty of room to have a friend or two or three come over and enjoy time in the one bedroom suite. Now back this way, lots of room. Now I don't know what you put all here. Maybe you go to CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, wherever and get you some, some of your own liquor, which is how you roll in Vegas because you don't want to spend the exorbitant prices. You can put some of that stuff right here. And on top, you have your ice bucket, your glasses, and then you get to the paid mini bar stuff, which is right here. And then inside here too, lots of liquor, different kinds of uh, seltzers and things like that. But here's a huge thing for Vegas, because this never happens on the strip specifically. You have your own refrigerator that you don't have to pay for. Get inside there, you can put a few drinks in there, put some snacks in there, and it will stay cool. That is perfect for Vegas, and especially if you want to save some money by buying some stuff at other places in the city. And especially if you have dinner and you have leftovers, the only thing is they don't have a microwave. So, you know, if you like some, some cold steak, you can do that, but you can at least put it in here. Let me take you inside the master because this thing is humongous as well. Master bedroom in the Conrad one bedroom suite at Resorts World. Huge king size bed over here and you also have a seat at the front of the bed where you can dress or just kind of chill and relax, do what you need to do. Over here, both sides as a matter of fact, you have your nightstand. You also have a wireless charging port. So I don't know which phones this works for specifically, you haven't tried it yet, but it, it's here. So you can wirelessly charge your phone. You also have your light switch right here where you can turn on all of your lights right here by the bedside for daytime, nighttime, privacy, pull back the drapes, pull back the shears. That's great too. And you also have this, which I love. You have one plug here, you have two USBs here, and this is a USB-C, which I have not seen. I have not seen a USB-C in any hotel room where you can just plug it in, since that's the way we're going with USB-Cs. That's a great look for Conrad and Hilton and Resorts World to put that there. So it's on both sides too, which if you've seen videos of mine before, I've complained because some hotel rooms, a lot of them older, they don't have plugs like that on both sides. Well, this one did it right. It has it on both sides. 
You have another chaise, day bed type action, and another great view of Vegas going on here. And then um, a little something to put a little drink on if you wanna kind of kick it, relax. And then turn around this way, and we also have another big TV that you can cast to, if I'm not mistaken again, and you can just throw something on the screen or watch whatever is on the local channels here in Vegas. You have drawer space if you like to unpack, and there's your safe. So you got some unmentionables you wanna put in there. You got some electronics. Um, if you win some cash in Vegas, you can put it all in the safe, top drawer safe. And then you have other storage here. You don't have room for a lot, but you know, you're not packing that much to come to Vegas, are you? So a lot of people like to pull their stuff out and put it in there. Some people just use their suitcases and take it out of there. This is a gigantic master bedroom, a one bedroom king suite here at the Conrad Resorts World. Let's take you inside the bathroom. Hold on, heavy door. Hold on, let's do that. Oh. Oh, that's a heavy door, but it's nice. Um, you have your light fixtures here. We're gonna turn on the bathroom light. Boom, that got bright really fast. Dual vanity. You also have lotion and soap here provided by the Conrad. You have your tissue there. Uh, and then over here, a nice soaking tub. And uh, this looks like it could be quite fun. Maybe later, quite possibly. Uh, you have your rainfall shower. Let's go in here real quick because this shower is very nice. Rainfall shower up above and then you also have your shower wand and you can run laps in this shower. It is that big. You also have product from Conrad in case you don't want to bring your own. And well, of course, then there's the bench where you can sit down, be comfortable, get some steam, shave your legs, do whatever you're going to do inside this gigantic shower. Uh, then we have the water closet, which I always like to have that as a separate feature, especially in a bathroom of this size. So plenty of room for you to do what you need to do in this gorgeous, gigantic bathroom. Over here, we have a vanity. So if you want to do your hair, do your makeup, you have a huge light. Uh, you've got plenty of room to do what you need to do at this vanity. And then behind that is your closet space. Uh, you have room to put some stuff up here if you need to for storage purposes. You also have a, a longer um, a longer thing for, let's say you're getting married or you know, you got a wedding to come to. You can put a, a dress over here, a tuxedo, a suit. So you have a, a longer rack to put that. This is also where your robes are if you want to get all fancy. And then you can put your suitcases here. There's some more hangers. You have your luggage racks. And then you have really like a little shoe caddy, shoe closet down here at the bottom, as well as an iron and an ironing board if you're going to use that as well. There is so much going on in this room. This is a huge room. And if you're a Hilton member, Hilton Diamond specifically, and you're coming to Vegas, my suggestion would be book the standard room and then hopefully you can get an upgrade to a room like this because this thing is fantastic for a couple nights or maybe a week in vegas you will enjoy this particular room i'm already enjoying it and we just got in here so this again is the conrad resorts world the one bedroom suite and it is a gorgeous room a big room and we're going to enjoy some fun times in vegas if you like the room tour like and subscribe. More great content is on the way. Appreciate you watching and Viva Las Vegas. So we're about to check out two days of our stay at the Conrad King Suite here on the Vegas trip at the Resorts World. So there are a couple things to point out that we didn't do in the first part of the video because, well, we had just gotten in here. The room was fresh. Now that we had two days to live in it, it's a couple of things that we saw that were good, a couple of things that could be worked upon. The other good thing that we saw that we just noticed because wonderful wife Alice asked, is that a sleeper? Yeah, it is a sleeper. So the couch in the front is a pullout. 
So the good thing about that is the fact that if you have a family, family of four, three, four, whatever, some folks can sleep out here in the living room area. And actually you can do up to five people because you have the lounger as well. So you have somebody right there and then have two people right here if you need to. So whether you're doing a family thing or if you're doing, you know, let's pile up in one room type of deal, one of those crazy Vegas weekends that I used to do when I was a teenager, well, more of a young adult, you can do that with the space out here as well. So that's a nice little thing that we did not know when we checked in. I did mention the casting system where you can put videos and such on the screen in the living room and in the bedroom. It does work. It's a Google based system, but it does work with iOS and Android and it works within apps. So you see that little cast sign, uh, Google cast thing. If you have Netflix or YouTube or any other app that has that for iOS or for Google Android, you can put it on the big screen. So that's great. If you've got movies you want to watch, you want to watch some more YouTube videos or any other kind of streaming you might want to do as long as it has that Google Cast in the app, you can use it on the screens here. Refrigerator, yes, we did have some food. We did put it in here. Now, the question that I had was, will it keep it cold? So I'm gonna hold on to that. Yeah, it's cool enough. It's not extremely frosty cold, but it's cool enough. So, you know, it just kind of depends. You do have a switch over here, as you can see, way in the back to go. Min, medium, and max on your refrigerator coolness. Now the thing's almost all the way on max and it's decently cold. So that does work. Again, you only have enough space for a little bit, maybe some sodas, maybe a drink or two, or maybe some leftovers from if you're going out to eat, but the refrigerator is working nicely. So this portion of the video is called nitpicking with Kendall and Alice. So we had a good time here. We did. Um, and it being fairly new as of this recording, um, maybe a month or a month and a half old. Mm -hmm. There are just a couple things that we noticed that we would improve on. Um, yours include the shower. Yes, while they actually provide um, amenities for you to use, mm -hmm. there is no shelving for people such as myself that bring my own products to sit on the shelves so that I can take a shower without having to worry about stuff being on the floor and getting waterlogged. Right, okay, so shelving would be good in the shower. Or, or just a shelf, something. Okay, yeah. that, that's one. Um, we did notice something with the water closet when we came in. It was a little, uh, a little peely. Well, the, you can tell the, yeah, this is new, so the paint is probably not fully dry. And the way that they attach the stop for the door, mm -hmm. when you open it, it automatically pulled the paint back. Yeah. So it's not aesthetically pleasing, but I mean, if you spend all your time looking at the bathroom, you really need to do something more with your life. That's, that's true. just my yeah. opinion. That's and that's extremely nitpicky. Yeah. Um, the other one you had, we had plenty of outlets, which is a complaint of mine, but one of your USBs didn't work. Yeah, for a brand new hotel, I mean, for the USB A's, they're side by side. Mm -hmm. um, one worked like a champ, no problem. The other one, there was just absolutely no power, which, you know, it can happen. But for a brand new hotel, you would expect that every single thing would be working so that it would you wouldn't have to compensate okay. elsewhere. All right. So um, one of my nitpicks is the delivery system. While it is innovative, the food delivery system, it's not straight up room service because they have uh, Grubhub connected and you can get to, I think pretty much all of the restaurants they have downstairs and you can have it delivered to your room. The thing we noticed yesterday is we went to Sun's Out, Bun's Out, which was the breakfast place and then the Craig's Vegan Ice Cream. And looking on the Grubhub menu, they don't have all the options that you can get True. inside the restaurant. Like Sun's Out, Guns Out, Sun's Out, Guns Out. Sun's Out, Buns Out had a, a couple things that uh, you couldn't get, including uh, like some something with eggs and grits and whatever, but that wasn't on the Grubhub menu. Uh, another thing with Craig's Vegan Ice Cream, Vegan Desserts, you could get scoops down there. You can get a slush or a shake, actually. You can get a scoop, you can get a shake, you can get a float, and that wasn't on the Grubhub menu for delivery to the room. Now, I mean, you can put a couple scoops in the cup and deliver it up to the room, 
you can do the same thing with a shake or a float too. Sure. So uh, the, a lot of those options, and I would imagine it's the same for some of the other restaurants too, uh, that would be one thing to upgrade to put more of the room service slash delivery options on there. But uh, really, that's that's my biggest thing. No, the absolute biggest was the Wi-Fi. Oh yeah, how could I forget biggest that? was the Wi-Fi. So there was work for both of us to do here mm -hmm. and for me, logging onto the Wi-Fi, it was a challenge because first and foremost, the Wi-Fi for the specific rooms weren't working. You're logging with your last name and your room number. It said, uh, the room is not occupied. It's like, yeah, we're sitting here, we're occupied. Mm -hmm. We had to call the front desk and they told us, well, just use the guest portal, which mm -hmm. is what anybody walking off the street into Resorts World can use. Sign up with your last name and your email and you can use it that way, which is inconvenient when you're staying here. Uh, so that was a problem. And then getting on and actually logging on and having it work was really difficult. You couldn't get anything. I couldn't done. get anything. And we both have brand new computers, so yeah. there should be no connectivity issues. But uh, yeah. it was close to impossible for me. And for him, it was extremely slow going. So, mm -hmm. again, for a brand new, com uh, brand new hotel, that should be something that shouldn't even be an issue, but it definitely is. I had to upload audio files and such, and I mean, it got to where it had to go. So don't get me wrong, it did work, but it was slow and going. Very slow. And kind of, uh, just, just kind of bulky in how to get online and do it. So that's one thing that they can really do to upgrade. And especially if you're in a suite and like us, if you're Hilton Honors, it's a deal when you check in, they usually have a secondary level of internet that's mm -hmm. premium, that's faster. So if you are Hilton Honors or if you are paying for a suite, I would suggest that they have a premium version of the internet. So that sounds like a lot of complaining, but- It really isn't. It really isn't, just, a, just some notes. Um, and because otherwise, the service was fantastic. Oh, absolutely. Um, everybody that Mario, here, you're the man. Yeah, Mario, thank you for hooking us up with this room for uh, making sure that we were able to get in here. And you know, people uh, that are working here, they're really happy to be here, it seems, mm -hmm. and they wanted to help you out at every turn. And uh, we didn't have a problem with anybody on the staff, so we were really happy with the service. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the resort is huge mm -hmm. with three hotels and the casino and all the dining areas and the shopping area. So it's definitely something to check out. Yeah. And uh, the bottom line of the whole thing is that, yeah, we can stay here again. Yeah, and pro tip, park in the hotel parking, not the self-parking. You'll save yourself some stuff. Huge, yeah, yeah. <laughs> check that out. There is a hotel parking and then there's a self-parking. If you are staying at the hotel, park in the hotel parking. Mm -hmm. Don't park in the self-parking because you're walking a country mile to get into the casino area, whereas if you park in the hotel parking, you'll you know trip down to the Hilton or to the Conrad or to the Crockford's, which are the three hotels that are here. A little closer. Yeah. yeah. So, so we had a fun stay. We did. Yeah. We did. I'd definitely stay here again. It's very nice. Okay. Well, there you go. So that is the Conrad, the sweet one king bedroom here at the Resorts World. We had a good time in a couple little nitpicky things. So hopefully next time we come back, they'll be fixed and uh, we can have a 100% A plus thing going mm -hmm. on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we had a fun time. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and uh, enjoy your next trip to Vegas. Yes. Before we go, there was one last thing <laughs> and my wife just noticed it. Just noticed it. There's one, one last thing <laughs> at the honor bar. Okay. You have your nuts, you have your <laughs> sours, you have your bears, you have your charging kit, you have almonds and such. Look at this, hold on. There's an intimacy kit. An intimacy kit. Warning, contents may ignite passion. How much does that thing cost? Hold on, dog. Hey. You're saying sometimes? Sometimes. <laughs> Hello to the intimacy kit in the honor bar. Well, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, right? <laughs> okay. But there's another store right across the street. <laughs> but won't he do it? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That was wrong. I apologize. That was wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> but are you, though? Are you? 